Welcome to the Stoughton High Gymnasium. I'm Jeffrey Pickett from Stoughton Media Access alongside Ravi Kotecha and Sean Ellertson, who's filming tonight. We're bringing you coverage of the Stoughton High boys basketball team against the Oliver Ames Tigers. Both teams come in at three and six. This is a must-win game for both of these boys basketball squads. The starting lineups tonight for Stoughton. Mike Gallagher, Dennis Rebello, Mike Manning, Stanley Sages, and Joey Wilder. For Oliver Ames, it's Chris Kine, Emmanuel Simeon, Ryan Carney, Nick Sedato, and Chris Duggan. We're just about ready for the opening tip, which will match Sedato at 6 for 3 against Joey Wilder, also at 6 3. Wilder with the tip, it goes out of bounds. Looks like might might do this again, Robbie. Yeah, it looks like they had a missed, missed tip, and they're going to do it again. And the second tip goes to Oliver Ames. And that's the Tigers missing the first shot again. Gallagher gets a rebound, pushes the ball across the half court line. Gallagher slows things down a bit. Mike Gallagher with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Gallagher still with the ball, gets it to Rebello. Rebello has Simeon on defense. Rebello looks to go inside, loose ball. Joey Wilder comes up with it. Wilder. Gets it to Gallagher, Gallagher resets. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Rebello for three, no good. Oliver Ames comes up with the rebound. That's Kine with the rebound. Mike Manning defending, Kine. Kine gets it to Simeon. Simeon to Carney, and Carney spots up for the jumper. No good. We're still scoreless here at Stoughton as Stanley Sages controls the ball. Sages for three, no good. Joey Wilder fights for the rebound. Gets it. Joey Wilder's trying for the second chance points. Can't get it. Oliver Ames with the rebound. Fast pace for Oliver Ames so far as Kine goes to the bucket for the first points of the game. Chris Kine, the junior, giving Oliver Ames a 2 0 lead. Kine was able to go to the basket, gets in off the glass. Gives Oliver Ames the lead. Mike Gallagher going to the bucket, looking to tie the game. No good. Kine comes up with the rebound. Loses the ball briefly, but gets it back. Out to Carney. Carney for three. Got it. Ryan Carney with a big three-pointer early on. Give Oliver Ames a 5-0 lead as Gallagher brings the ball up across the half-court line. Gallagher to Manning. Manning working on Carney. Gets it to Abella, back to Manning. Manning for three in front of the Oliver Ames bench. No good, clinks off the board. The rim, rather, Oliver Ames has the rebound. It's Carney going to the hoop, and he's going to be called for a carry. Carney. Not able to have possession there. It's called for a costly turnover. Early in the game, had a chance to give all reins a larger lead, but they take it back just to five points on the board. Carney's a big player for Oliver Reigns. See what he can do the rest of the way. Mike Gallagher with the ball. Gets it to Manning. Manning working his way inside. Mike Manning can't get the shot to fall. Stoughton still scoreless as Sedato comes up with the rebound. Sedato gets it back to Carney who works the ball across the half-court line. And gets it inside to number 31, Chris Duggan. Duggan finishes it, and it's 7-0 early on. Oliver Ames with the lead. Not the start Stoughton wanted, as both of these three and six teams looking for a much-needed win. Mike Gallagher, shot no good. Oliver Ames comes up with the rebound. That was Duggan. Duggan gets it to Carney. Carney working his way across the half-court line. Gallagher with some defense. Carney. Simeon, back to Carney. Carney for three, no good. But Oliver Ames keeps the ball alive, back inside to Carney, but the pass is going to be deflected off a Stoughton player, so Oliver Ames will retain possession. It's good to see Stoughton, even though they ha haven't scored yet, get to, to the basket, multiple possessions in a row. And they did it just there, Robbie. On cue, as Sedato goes to, cuts to the basket and gets a two-pointer early time up here as Stoughton trails 9-0 out of the gate. All Rams with a 9-0 lead. Stone has been going to the basket, has been coming up short though. On the other side of that, All Rams are able to capitalize. They're getting turnovers, they're going to the basket, getting good shots, and they're also getting second chance points. Stoughton High cheerleaders on the court right now as the Black Knights are in the huddle trying to draw up 
Uh, it would almost be nice at this point if they could press reset. It's just that one of those type of games where you just don't get off to the start that you wanted to, Robbie. And, you know, 9 nothing facing a deficit to your arch rival like this. Um, what does Stoughton need to do to coming out of this timeout to just get back in the game? I mean, plenty of time to play. Yeah, they just have to, you know, make sure that they don't lose focus in the game. It's still early, still plenty of time to come back. Play good defense, you know, keep from making mistakes, and we'll have a shot at that. Gallagher gets the ball to Manning, who's going to bring the ball across the half-court line. Manning. Has the ball again. Manning. Driving to the hoop, tries to pass it inside to Wilder, but the pass is intercepted. That's Kine with the ball for Olive Reigns. Gets it to Carney. Carney gets it to Duggan. Duggan kicks it out to Simeon. Simeon shot no good. So Stoughton will inbound the ball. Still trailing 9 0 here. Gallagher dribbles the ball across the half court line. Gets the ball to Rebello. Rebello looking to put some points on the board for Stoughton. Now gets it to Manning, who will look to do the same. Manning shot, no good. Looks like it might have been tipped a little bit by Oliver Ames. With 16 seconds left on the shot clock, Stoughton will inbound the ball as it went off a Tigers player last. That's Gallagher who's going to inbound it. Gets it to Manning by the Tigers bench. With about 12 seconds left on the shot clock, Manning dribbles the ball, gets it to Wilder, who's at the top of the key. Wilder tightly defended by Duggan. Wilder's going to have to kick the ball. Gets it to Sages. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Sages works his way to the hoop. No good. It should have been a shot clock violation. I think that's what they called it. Uh, Sages not able to get the ball to hit the rim. Kine. Dribbling, gets it inside to Simeon. Simeon back out to Kine. Kine, no good. It's Sages is going to track down the rebound. Sages bringing the ball across the half court line, pushes it out to Gallagher. Gallagher with plenty of time on the shot clock. Resets his offense, gets it to Rebello. Rebello working his way inside. He's blocked. Rebello, he's going to draw a foul this time down the court. So Dennis Rebello will work his way to the line. Trying to put Stoughton on the board. It's still 9 0. Rebello able to go to the basket, gets down in the game. Doesn't get the shot, stays with it though, ends up at the free throw. So 9 0. Dennis Rebello looking to cut into this deficit. He gets the first free throw to go. Dennis Rebello receiving, or rather, he's playing his first extensive varsity action this season. He's impressed so far in the early going for the Black Knights. Dennis Rebello with a second free throw. Thanks out, no good, but Stanley Sages comes up with a rebound. He can't get the shot to fall, and all of Reigns tracks it down. That's Kine. He's working his way to the basket. Looks like a foul on Stoughton, and Kine, I think, will go to the line. Correction will be, at, it'll be uh, underneath the basket, though, the inbound the ball. So all of Reigns inbounds the ball, gets it to Sedato, Sedato to Duggan. To Carney, Carney for a deep three, no good. Ryan Carney's had a couple of misses in this first quarter. Rebell goes to the hoop, no good. So after a fast start for Oliver Ames, they've kind of slowed down offensively, but Stoughton's not picking it back up on their end either. It's nine to one. Oliver Ames started off really well. They were able to get some turnovers, get to the basket, and build a nine nothing lead. And now they're just not making any shots. Well, that was the broadcaster's reverse jinx right there as Oliver Ames puts a two down. It's 11 to one. Tigers up by 10 in the early going here in the first quarter. Mike Gallagher has the ball for Stoughton. Gallagher to Rebella. Rebella to Gallagher. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Gallagher's looking to work his way to the hoop and instead kicks it out to Teixeira. to share for three and to share gets it. Big three-pointer right there when you need to climb back into a game. And Brandon Teixeira gets it done for Stoughton. So Stoughton trailing by seven. All of Rames kicks out to Sedato. Sedato, long-range shot, no good. And Stoughton tracks down the rebound. 
to share it to Rebello. Rebello for three, no good. That would have been big for Stoughton. Oliver Ames gets the rebound. That's Kine. Looks like some contact there. Kine again, are trying to attack the basket, draws more contact, and he'll get to the line. I believe this is the first attempt for, for Oliver Ames at the free throw line. Kine with the first shot. It's good. Looks like Junior Korea is going to check in the game for Stoughton. Dennis Rebello heads to the bench. You have Sages, Gallagher, Manning, and Korea around the paint for this free throw shot. As the second free throw shot is in, Manning is going to inbound the ball to Gallagher. Manning with the ball, 20 seconds left on the shot clock, puts up a three, Mike Manning gets it to go, in and out and back in again. Mike Manning with a three pointer. He can hurt you like that from the outside, and he did it there for Stoughton. Gallagher with some defense on Carney. Carney works his way inside. Ball goes against Oliver Ames, gonna be Stoughton ball. Down 13 to six, or 13 to seven rather. Let's see if Stoughton can start putting together some positive possessions in a row, Robbie. Yeah, Stoughton doing a good job of attacking the rim and keeping all brains from cashing in on, on rebounds, but you have to make some of those baskets if they want to get back in this game. Stoughton with the ball now, that's to share who's gonna shoot for three. That would have put Stoughton within three, no good. Stanley Sages with the rebound, can't get it. No contact called there, but there was plenty of it underneath the basket. Shot by Junior Korea, no good as Oliver Ames comes up with a rebound. Lots of contact when Sages was going to the hoop, but nothing called. Oliver Ames looking to extend its six point lead. Carney has the ball, takes a deep three, and Ryan Carney sinks it. Wow, what a shot! Stoughton almost had the inbounds pass intercepted, but keeps it. Sages working his way inside. Sages, again, some contact, no call. Oliver Ames comes up with the rebound. And they're gonna work fast break to the hoop. And Oliver Ames gets another score. And we have a timeout on the floor. Robbie, what can Stoughton do right now to get back in this game? Stoughton is doing a lot of things well offensively, but Unfortunately, they're unable to connect on a lot of their baskets. They've had some good looks down underneath the basket. And defensively, they've given up some pretty good looks. And also, Ryan Carney has made some nice nice shots. I think Ryan Carney is going to have something to say about this game before it's all said and done. To, how do you defend a shot that's from a ridiculous point in the court anyways? And that's where he hit his last big three-pointer. Uh, one thing though Stoughton needs to show up is I don't feel like they're getting enough second chance opportunities. Uh, they're, they're missing some of their shots, or a lot of their shots, and Oliver Ames is grabbing the rebounds. Meanwhile, in the offensive end for the Tigers, they are getting their rebounds off their missed shots. They're giving themselves second chance opportunities. Any coach will tell you, hey, the more of those opportunities you have, the better chance you have to win a game. Yeah, so far, offensively, we've seen Excuse me, defensively, Stoughton has been backing off of the Oliver Ames players, and then the OA players have either driven or taken shots. Now they're making shots. I think we're going to see Stoughton adjust. Coming out of this timeout, Gallagher has the ball across the half court line. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Gallagher kicks it out to Teixeira. Tisdale has the ball. It's Gallagher now. 10 seconds left on the clock. Shot clock, that is. First quarter is winding down though. Loose ball gets to Tisdale. Tisdale, nifty move inside, but won't go. And we have a foul on the court. Another instance where Stover is able to get a, get a shot at the rim, but the shot doesn't go down and all rain takes it back the other way. And like you said, Jeff, Stoughton is going to need second chance points if they're going to compete in this game. So far they haven't had them. Kai 
time with the inbounds pass. Oliver is looking for another score to end the first quarter. Shot up. It goes in, but it's waved off by the official. End of the first quarter. So not the first quarter Stoughton was hoping for. It's 18 to seven. The Black Knights are trailing the Oliver Ames Tigers. The boys basketball team from Stoughton has the same three and six record as Oliver Ames. Both teams looking for a big win tonight to stay, to keep their tournament hopes alive. I'm Jeffrey Pickett alongside Robbie Kotecha here at Stoughton High Gym where second quarter's underway. And we have an early travel call on Stoughton. That was number 23, Junior Korea with the travel. Oliver Ames now controls the ball. Kine at the point, shooting top of the key, no good. Stone comes down with a rebound. Oliver Ames foul number 12, Emmanuel Simmons. Second person, third on the team. That was Emmanuel Seaman with the foul call against him. Stoughton will inbound the ball. Drayton Tisdale inbound to the ball, gets it to Gallagher at the point. Gallagher kicks out to Sages. Sages back to Gallagher. Gallagher inside to Sages, and Sages can't get it to go, but Wilder has the rebound, loses control of it, and Oliver Ames is running. And the Tigers go to the hoop. At Simeon for two. And the Tigers increase their lead to 13, 20 to seven. Teixeira for three though. Stoughton back within 10. Brandon Teixeira with another three. Stoughton's gonna need a couple more of those, Robbie, to get back in the game. Teixeira gets the crowd right back in this. Oh, Ryan certainly on a run here. And the Tigers cut inside to number 11, Brandon Welsh, the six foot two junior, getting it done in the paint. It's 22 to 10 with 650 remaining in the quarter. Wilder kicks it out to Gallagher. Gallagher back out to Sages. Sages for three. It looks like he was fouled, but no call as Sages hit the deck. Shot no good, and Oliver Ames comes up with the rebound. That's Carney with the ball. Takes Shara with the defense. Carney kicks out. Ball back to Carney. Thought about a deep shot there. Instead passes it out. And some contact, but no call there. As that's Kine with the bucket. 24 to 10. Gallagher passes it to Tixera in the corner. Gets it back to Gallagher. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Gallagher with the ball. Pulls up for the jumper, no good. He fights with Wilder for the rebound. Gallagher ends up getting it. Can't get his second shot to go. And Oliver Ames is gonna come away with it and they're running. Oliver Ames, pretty fast pace so far to start the second quarter. This is now 26 to 10. Timeout Stoughton. Coach Gallivan would like to probably press the reset button now in this second quarter as the Black Knights are down 26 to 10. So far in the second quarter, it's been the same, same old story for Stoughton. They're getting beat inside by Oliver Ames. They're not able to get anything going on their, on their end inside the paint. And when Oliver Ames feels like taking a deep three or deep shot, they can't. And they're making them every time. That now that's what leads to a 16 point lead. You guys saw this game start with all Rams go to a 9 0 lead, and they haven't really even been in, in any trouble since then. Again, as we said at the top of this quarter, Robbie, it's a must win game for both teams. And Stoughton had such a positive, encouraging game last Friday night against the Canton Bulldogs, uh, a team which many people in the media really were given a lot of hype to, and Stoughton. Shut down Canton, was able to get a big win, and they were hoping to do the same thing this Friday night. Game's certainly not over yet, but Stoughton has a lot of work to do to dig itself out of a sizable hole. Just about, we're less than 10 minutes into this game, and Stoughton's already, just over 10 minutes, rather, into this game. Stoughton already down by 16. Manning gets the ball into Rebello. Rebello with the ball, back to Manning. Manning to Teixeira in the corner. Teixeira for three. No good, but Wilder with the rebound. Wilder back out to Manning. Manning for three. Got it. Mike Manning for three. Stone's going to need some more of that. And Manning, Teixeira, and Rebello all on the court right now for Stone. Can take and nail the three-pointer. Oliver Ames. Can't get the shot to go. That's Sages who comes up with the rebound. Pushes it to Teixeira. Teixeira 
Kicks it back out to Manning. Manning for three again. He's wide to the right. No good. It's 26 to 13, five minutes left. All of Rams with a three point of their own. They're wide to the left. But looks like the ball went out on Oliver Ames. Stoughton ball with 4.57 left in the quarter. It's interesting to see Oliver Ames keep their foot on the pedal here, even though they have a big lead. They're doubling up Stoughton right now. I don't really think they need to play a high, fast game, high pace, high pace game and take shots and miss shots. As Manning misses the shot right there, Oliver Ames, despite what you said, Robbie, is continuing to fast pace. Shot can't go to share with the rebound. To share to Manning. Manning at the top of the key, 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Gets it inside, inside to Teixeira, and Teixeira gets a turnaround jumper. Brandon Teixeira makes it a 26 to 15 game, four minutes and 24 seconds left before the half. Kine has the ball, gets it to Welsh. Welsh loses control of it, but Abella keeps it alive. Ball's back in Kine's hands. Teixeira with the defense. Kine gets it. To Carney, Carney loses it. Back to Carney. Carney for three off the backboard. That's going to be Kine for a jumper, and he makes it. Chris Kine. Chris Kine from about the free throw line. And it's 28 to 15. Mike Manning with the ball now for the Black Knights. Back to Rabella. And Rabella's going to be called for a travel. I think that's the second one of the quarter, Robbie. Hey, Stoughton cannot be called for, for things like that. You cannot be having turnovers when you're down by. 13 points to your arch rival, and the first half is winding down. This is a big rivalry game, and it's by far the biggest crowd of the season for the Black Knights here at the Stoughton High Gymnasium as Oliver Ames looking to add to its lead. Shot no good. That's Milovich with the rebound. Gets it to Shara. To Shara. He's going to pull up for the jumper, and Brandon Teixeira adding some big offense for Stoughton right now. Carrying, called on Oliver Ames, so it's a turnover. And a chance for Stoughton to really put together multiple positive possessions in a row, and that's what you need when you're down multiple double digits. Yeah, Stoughton has a good chance here to get, get it down to a manageable number going into the half. Three minutes to go. Manning with the ball. Passes it inside to Milovic, but the pass was errant, and it goes out of bounds. That's going to be Duggan, who's going to inbound the ball for Olive Rams. Another turnover for the Black Knights. 3.07 left in the half, 28 to 17. The Tigers with the lead. Duggan gets the ball in. Teixeira tipped the ball, goes out of bounds. But Olive Rams will retain possession. That's Copel who will be inbounding it for the Tigers. Copel looking to get the ball. Inside, gets it to Carney. Carney hands it back off to Copel. Copel to Abella. Abella back to Copel. To share with the defense. Ball's in Sedato's hands. Oliver's doing a lot of passing right now, and finally one goes out of bounds. Too much passing there, Robbie. Yeah, they were running up and down the court earlier, and this one, this time they didn't, they slowed it down, almost didn't know how to take a possession like that. But the Tigers do maintain possession as Welch gets the inbounds pass and can't get that one to roll. I don't know how that didn't go in. Alex Susan, that was Duggan, who just could not get that shot to fall. Rolled. Manning is blocked on the other end of the court for Stoughton. As Oliver Ames is going to be called for a carry. Stoughton needs to start scoring right now because Oliver Ames is coming up empty on the offensive possession, on its offensive possessions right now. So be big if Stoughton can get back in the game with Mike Gallagher and Joey Wilder getting some minutes breathing on the bench. On the court right now for Stoughton, you have Mike Manning, Dennis Rebello. Stanley Sage is going to check out for Number 21, Drayton Tisdale. He's an addition to the varsity roster. Mike Milovich is also on the court, as is Brandon Teixeira to round out your five for the Black Knights. It's Manning who will bring the ball across the half-court line. Manning can't find his 
teammate with the pass, and it goes out of bounds as to share who the pass was intended for. Just a slight miscommunication there. Guy cutting ends up not cutting. To share with the defense on all of Rames. It's number 12, Emmanuel Simeon with the ball. Gets out to Duggan. Duggan inside to number 15, Franklin Holgate, who was left alone, uncovered underneath the basket. 30 to 17, Oliver Rames. That's how Oliver Rames has built their lead. Go right into the basket, layups all day. Manning with the ball again. He's been controlling the ball for the Black Knights with Gallagher getting a breather on the bench. Rebella with the ball. Rebella's going to spot up for three. Can't get it as Oliver Rames comes out with a rebound. Oliver Ames for three of their own. No good, but they control, control the boards. It's gonna be number 13, Ryan Carney, who will be inbounding the ball. Carney gets it into Sedato. Oliver Ames playing around the world right now, passing the ball. And finally, a deep three-pointer. Ryan Carney's taking multiple three-pointers from way out behind the line when it's really not that necessary. Out by 13 oh, points, working inside, you've been dominating the paint, you've been dominating underneath the basket. Four, Keep three. doing that and you extend your lead. Yeah, they're certainly getting a lot of second chance opportunities as well, Oliver Ames is. As the score remains 30 to 17 with about a minute 15 seconds left in the half as Mike Manning has the ball now for the Black Knights, gets it to Teixeira, Teixeira for three. Brand to share in and out. Milovic comes up with a steal, but Oliver Ames gets it right back. Gonna call it. That's a backcourt violation there. He, oh, yeah, it seemed like it was borderline. He, in the process of trying to get the ball, Oliver Ames just, I just couldn't do it before carrying himself over the line. Is Mike Manning now? Look to end the scoring drop for Stoughton. Is it about the free throw line? Gets it to Rebello. Rebello, he scores and that's, he's going to have the opportunity for an and one. Dennis Rebello Jr. getting his first extensive varsity action this year. He's come up, he's come up with some big shots. Dennis Rebello shooting one. Bellow spots up for the free throw attempt, and it's good. It's 30 to 20 now, with 46.4 seconds left in this quarter. Kind with the ball for Oliver Ames, slowly bringing it up court. Kind gets it inside to Sedato, who falls to the ground. Duggan with the ball now underneath, and Duggan. Gets it to go. Duggan has a really big size advantage, and he's able to get to the basket at will. Basket now he's going to get fouled, too. That's going to be a long, long, long night, long second half for Stoke. Chris Duggan, shooting one. Chris Duggan getting to the line. As Robbie mentioned, some nice work in the paint. Uh, Joey Wilder really could match up well with him. He's on the bench right now before the half, getting some Deserve time off. Joey plays almost every minute for the Stoughton High boys basketball team. Duggan's listed as six foot three. He's a senior. Can't get the free throw to fall as Mike Manning controls the ball for the Black Knights with 25 seconds left. There's about a second discrepancy in game clock and shot clock. So I believe the Knights, the Oliver Ames will technically have one more opportunity in this half. Right, but still effectively holding for the last shot, making sure there's not enough time for all Rams to get a shot off. A, a good shot anyway. Manning with the ball going inside with five seconds left on the shot clock, and he's gonna draw some contact. Smart move by Manning. Yeah, he'll go to the free throw line, give uh, Stoughton a chance to be within 10 points going into the half. Sixth on the team. Mike Manning shooting two. Mike Manning will have two free throw attempts. He's one of the team's better free throw shooters. Here's the first attempt. Falls in. While we have the opportunity, I want to thank Sean Ellerson who's doing a great job filming this game for us. Bringing you coverage of the Stoughton High boys basketball team against their arch rival, Oliver Ames, here on a Friday night at Stoughton High. 
Mike Manning gets a second one to fall. As all of Rams, with four seconds left, will attempt the last shot. No good as the all of Rams Tigers will go into a ha the half with the 32 to 22 lead. Robbie, what should Coach Gallivan be telling his team at the half for Stoughton? Well, for one thing, on the defensive end, they have to do a better job blocking inside the paint. Oliver Ames has, has had many, many opportunities where they're able to go into the basket and get, get baskets easily. So we'll be back after a break for halftime. The Knights are down 10. We'll be back for third quarter coverage after the short halftime break. We're about a minute and 15 seconds away from the start of the second half here at Stoughton High School. The Stoughton High boys basketball team trails all of our aims. 32 to 22. I'm Jeffrey Pickett alongside Robbie Kotecha. Sean Allerton is filming for us. And let's bring you some first, quick first half observations. Robbie? Well, early on, Oliver Ames was able to get off to a really fast start. They're getting inside at will, getting layups off the glass. They had a couple of nice three pointers. They start with a 9 0 lead, and then Stoughton tried to claw its way back, claw its way back. They went down by double digits. And, and now they, they got into 10 points. They got into 10 points to start the second half. Puts them in position where if they play well, mistake-free basketball, they have an opportunity to come back and win this game. First half stats, Stone scored only seven points in the first quarter, 15 in the second quarter. Dennis Rebello has four points to the Black Knights. Mike Manning has a pair of three-pointers and has eight points overall. Brandon Teixeira also has a pair of three-pointers, and he has 10 points. And those are the only three Stoughton players to score. So one of the other key factors for Stoughton in the second half, get more players involved. You have to have more than three players scoring for you to get back in this game and to ultimately win it. Oliver Ames is going to inbound the ball to start this second half. And that's Duggan who gets it in to Kine. Oliver Ames looking for a three. No good, Joey Wilder gets the rebound, ultimately gets the ball to Mike Manning, who's gonna push the ball across the half court line. Manning out to Deshera, Deshera for three. That's the way you wanna start the second half if you're Stoughton. Stoughton gets it to under 10 points for the first time since the first few minutes of the game. Has to be a good start for them. And we mentioned Brandon Deshera is one of those three Black Knights who did score in the first half. He's continuing it in the second. You're gonna need some more big shots like that from him and other players as well. To, get, to complete a potential comeback. Oliver Ames with the ball now. We're just inside 30 seconds into this third quarter. Manning with some tight defense. Sages now back on the court. Gets into Sedato. Sedato is going to draw some contact. Sedato, the quarterback for the Oliver Ames football team. Stoughton and Oliver Ames, you don't need to, I don't need to say this, but I will anyways. They're rivals in every sport, especially on the boys' side. When it's football, basketball, baseball, this is a heated rivalry, and Sedato is one of the key players in this rivalry. Sedato at the free throw line gets the first free throw to go. Even on that last possession, there, Sedato had a defender right on him and was able to drive to the basket anyway. Ends up getting to the free throw line. Stone's just not winning the battle in the paint right now, and they need to turn that around. Mike Manning with the ball gets it out to Rebello. Rebello for three. He's wide to the right on that shot. Oliver Ames ball. Stoughton needs to be careful. They're only down by eight points, plenty of time left. They do not need to settle for quick threes. They have plenty of time to run the offense. Oliver Ames slowing things down here a bit to get the ball across the half court line. That's Kine with the ball. He's trying to take it coast to coast, but he's rejected. Sudato though, gets the rebound and he's fouled on the second attempt. So he's going to get to go to the line for the second time in about the last 30 seconds. Sedato's listed at six foot three. He's one of the bigger players on the court. Gets the first free throw to go. Oliver Ames has some nice size. 
to match Stoughton with Sages and Wilder. 35-25 now, just under seven minutes to play in the third quarter as Manning brings the ball across the half court line. Manning to Sages. Sages going inside, kicks it out to Teixeira. Teixeira for three, no good, as Duggan comes up with the rebound for Oliver Ames. Duggan out to Carney. Carney to Simeon. Back to Carney. And back to Simeon, the two exchanging passes back and forth. This time out to Kine. Manning with the defense. 13 seconds left on the shot clock as Kine with the jumper. No good, in and out. But Oliver Ames again going to draw some contact underneath. Robbie, this is happening possession after possession. Yeah, that's, that's Duggan right there. The, he has size, but he is also just bigger, stronger than the Stone players. He's able to force his will inside. First free throw is good. Duggan with the second free throw. No good, Sages with the rebound. Gets the ball to Manning. Manning inside. He gets a potential traditional three-point play. He's going to get to go to the line for a one. That's what Stoneman has to do. They're able to cut inside to the paint, go to the basket, and look for opportunities to get to the free throw line. The more you're able to get to the free throw line, the better odds of getting more points, obviously. Manning can't get the free throw to go. It's 36 to 27 with six minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter. Carney with the ball for Oliver Ames. Sages with some tight defense, trying to force a steal, and that's Sages with a steal. Fast break opportunity, and Sages is fouled and gets one. Nice play, Stanley Sages. That's a senior captain for you right there. Well, here's what Stoughton has done in the last several possessions, and the reason that steal happened, they've been playing better on the ball defense. They're playing tighter defense on the ball as Toast to stop that drive to the basket. And that time turned into a steal and a fast break. Stanley Sages trying to complete the three-point play. He gets the free throw to go. It's 36-30, and Stone's right back in, and Manning with the steal. Manning can't get the bucket. That would have been big for Stoughton. Instead, Sedato pushes the ball up to Simeon. Simeon back to Sedato. Sedato to Kine. Kine guarded by Manning. Inside. All of Rames puts up a shot. Duggan fighting for the rebound. Can't get it, and that's Sages who comes down with it. Sages has Wilder open. Rebella, wow, what a save by Teixeira over there. Teixeira for three. No good. Manning controls the rebound. Manning for a deep three, and he's got it. Mike Manning for three. That was a deep three-pointer. I thought when he took the shot that he should have thought twice about taking it, but Mike Manning with another big three-pointer for Stoughton. You know, it was not a good shot. He's lucky he made it, otherwise the coach would be saying something different to him on the sideline right now. Well, Stoughton has cut a 10-point halftime deficit to three with five minutes to go here in the third quarter. It's a game again, and I kind of tripped over my words during the play-by-play, -play, but I don't rewind a couple of minutes and look back at Brandon Teixeira saving a potential errant pass, I believe it was from Stanley Sages, from going out of bounds. He's in the corner by the trainers, by the Stoughton bench, and Teixeira saves that pass from going out of bounds, and he was really key in keeping that possession alive for the Black Knights and ultimately setting up what turned out to be a big three-pointer for Mike Manning. Yeah, Manning had a great shot, probably ill-advised, though he made it, but the save by Teixeira was phenomenal. I, I don't know how high he had to jump to get that. That looked like it was sailing over his head towards the exit sign. Somehow he put one hand on and brought it down. He's listed at only five foot nine. He's one of the shorter players on the team. Oliver Ames with the ball now. Five minutes and five seconds left. That's Kine with the ball. Kine gets it to Carney. Simeon with the ball, back to Carney. To share with the defense. Carney going inside, he's blocked. 
Carney block going to the basket. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Zala Brains will inbound the ball. Kine with the ball to Carney. Carney for two. He's got it. It's a big shot for Oliver Ames. They needed that. Manning with the ball. And he's looking to answer for Stoughton. Hit a big three-pointer the last time down the court. And he pulls up for a jumper and he gets it. Mike Manning's playing some big-time basketball for the Black Knights right now. It's 38-35 with four minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Carney for three. No good, and that's going to be Teixeira, who controls the rebound. What a move by Teixeira there. Teixeira for three. That would have tied the game, but it was a little wide to the right. All right. Teixeira had a very, very nice crossover dribble behind the back to get across midcourt without getting the ball stolen. But he let that, let that adrenaline get to him a little bit. Took a, took a shot from the three-point line. Had a lot of time. Could have found someone open underneath the basket. Instead, the ball goes out of bounds and all the rims goes back the other way. Kind with the ball for Oliver Ames. Halfway through this third quarter. Kind to Simeon. Shot no good. Manning's pushing the ball across the half court line. Manning has Rebello open on the side, chooses to go inside instead. Manning for two, no good, and Oliver Ames is going to come up with a rebound. Loose ball though, and it's going to be Sages has come up, comes up with it. Sages inside to Wilder, Wilder to Korea, Korea for three, no good, but Manning comes up with the rebound. Manning underneath looks to kick it out. Sages has the ball, 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Sages working his way inside. Stanley Sages draws some contact, but no call right there. Sages hits the deck. He looks like he was hit by two players. Kind shot, no good. Wilder comes up with the rebound. Actually, it's going to be Junior Korea who comes up with it. Wilder tipped it to him. Fast-paced game right now for both teams. Rebello has the ball with three minutes and ten seconds left. Twenty seconds left on the shot clock. Rebello, he's fouled working his way inside. That's a... Incredible comeback that Stoughton has had so far. They show by 15 points at one point in this game. The previous possession of this one, you had Sages going inside the paint, gets double teamed, and tries to make the play anyway. Maybe should have kicked out. You were saying maybe he should have kicked out. I agree, Robbie. Gallagher back in the game. He has the ball. Gallagher for three. And this game is tied. Mike Gallagher, fresh off the bench. And this game is not in at 38. Mike Gallagher with a big shot right there. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. Kine trying to give Oliver Ames the lead. No good. Manning's going to have a chance to give Stoughton its first lead of the game. Manning coast to coast, and he's fouled. Wow. Wow. Excellent play by Manning, getting, getting right to the basket there. Mike Manning is in one of those in the zone moments. He's making play after play after play right now. And that's another big one. He's got a chance to give Stoughton their first lead. Manning dribbles the ball. Bends his knees, takes the free throw. No good. He'll get a second one, though. On the court for Stoughton is Korea Gallagher Manning, who's at the free throw line. Sages and Teixeira. Stoughton going a little small here with Wilder getting some minute breathing time on the bench. Manning can't get either to go, but Stoughton fights for the rebound. Manning gets it again underneath. Shot no good as Sedato is going to get a fast break opportunity to Carney and Carney converts the layup. All of Rams back up by two again. Nice job by Sedato, quarterback, finding Carney deep down the court. And then two converted for a two point play. Manning with the ball at the top of the key. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Manning for three. No good. All of Rams comes up with the rebound. That's some contact on Carney right there with Sages with the defense. No call. Look, all of Rams going to be called for a carry and turnover by the Tigers. Robbie, it seems that they're not really calling much contact off the ball. No, they're not calling anything off the ball. Even inside, there's very little being called on both sides. Gallagher with the ball, back at the point guard duties. Working his way inside, he's blocked by Kine. Kind of looks like he's hobbled up after that play. 
Yeah, Kine came down. It looks like maybe his ankle, but he, right away he called for the bench. He wanted to be replaced immediately. Something was not right. Stoughton retains possession. Gallagher with the ball to Tisdale. Tisdale out to Manning. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Simeon, so Manning will get to keep possession for Stoughton. It's Gallagher, actually, who will be inbounding the ball in front of the stands. Gallagher to Manning. Ball tipped away again. Out of bounds on Oliver Ames. Stoughton ball. Simeon tipped it out for the second time in as many touches. Gallagher looking for somebody to inbound the pass to. Teixeira gets it. And he, wow, he absolutely rifled that ball off of Sedato. Teixeira was about to fall out of bounds, not have possession, threw it off the defender. Teixeira with the ball, heads up play by him. Gallagher with the ball. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Gallagher kicks it out to Tisdale. Tisdale to Teixeira, Teixeira for three in the lead, he's got it! Brandon Teixeira, he's a sophomore, but he's come to play like an upperclassman tonight. Brandon Teixeira gives Stoughton a 41-40 lead. One minute and 30 seconds left in this third quarter. I'm a little bit floored by that sequence by Teixeira. First, throws the ball to the defender, a very smart play, keeps possession, and drills a three. Oliver Ames with the ball. Shot no good. That's Tisdale with the rebound. Tisdale might want to slow it up at 4 and one advantage for Oliver Ames. To share for three. In and out. This crowd would have erupted if that went in. But the ball bounced out. Oliver Ames, Carney trying to get it inside. Travel called on Brendan Welsh underneath. Stoughton has 19 points this quarter to Oliver Ames is eight. Stoughton erasing that 10 point halftime deficit. And Robbie, to start this game, Stoughton, they were down nine nothing early on. This is quite a remarkable comeback so far. Absolutely, the fact that they're up by a point here with a chance to add to it is pretty remarkable. Indeed. Tisdale with the ball. And ball bounces off of him, and that's going to be Carney who's going to get it. Carney to the hoop. No good. Gallagher with the rebound. A little over the back action there, but no call. Gallagher kicks it out to Rebello. Rebello for three. No good, but Sages with the rebound. Gets it in one. Sages with a chance for a traditional three-point play. Sages heads up play, looking at that glass, gets the rebound, puts it back. He goes to the line. In the first half, it was all Oliver Ames. They were dominating inside the paint, kicking out, playing the inside-outside game, playing up-tempo, and now Stone has turned the tables on them. They're playing phenomenal defense, mis almost mistake-free basketball, and they've got a three-point lead. Looking to add to it right there, Robbie, as Stages the captain, attempts the free throw. It's good, it's 44 to 40, with 44.4 seconds left in this half. Stoughton with the four point lead. Simeon with the ball for Oliver Ames. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Now that's Carney. Carney working his way inside on triple coverage and he gets a shot. Wow, Carney was triple covered there. Still gets a lay in. And it looked relatively effortless for him. Gallagher with the ball with 18 seconds left. Shot clock off. Stoughton will be holding for the last shot. 44-42, Black Knights up by a deuce. Gallagher working his way inside, nifty move, gets it to Tisdale, Tisdale can't get his shot to fall. Carney with one second left, he's gonna pass the ball to Simeon but can't get a shot off. So Stoughton will go into the fourth quarter, up by two, 44 to 42. We're in for an exciting final eight minutes here at Stoughton High School. We'll be right back for fourth quarter coverage. All right, back to the fourth quarter. Robbie, what did Coach Byron tell all of Rams? What did Coach Galvin discuss with Stoughton in the, in the huddle prior to the fourth quarter? I think it must have told them to keep doing what they're doing. Keep the on-the-ball defense uh, right where it is. And most importantly, do not get ahead of yourself. Stay with the game, stay with the tempo, keep, be mistake-free, and they got a chance to keep, keep, you know, win this one. 
Tisdale inbounds the ball to Gallagher to start the fourth quarter. I'm Jeffrey Pickett alongside Robbie Kotecha and Sean Ellardson bringing you coverage of the Stoughton High boys basketball team's game against Oliver Ames. Gallagher kicks it out to Rebello. Rebello inside to Sages. Sages gets it to go and foul. Stanley Sages, it's about the third time this game he's done that. And the captain has come to play in the second half. Sages hadn't really had his name called Sages. for most of the first half, and the next thing you know, end of the third quarter rolls around. This team's got an opportunity to take a lead, and we're hearing him over and over again, making big play after big play. Five-point lead. You would not have thought this was possible. Late in the second quarter, Stoughton was struggling mightily, but the Knights are up by five now. Duggan controls the ball near the free throw line. Gets it to Simeon. To Carney. Carney for three. Off the mark as to share grabs the rebound. Pushes it to Rebello. Seven minutes and 25 seconds left in this game. Rebello working his way inside. Kisses it off the glass and gets it to go. And timeout, Oliver Ames. And you didn't really see timeouts by Oliver Ames in the third quarter. Stoughton was climbing back into this game and taking the lead. But Coach Byron opting for the quick timeout at the start of this fourth quarter as he needs to reset his his team. He's running out of time as this game is getting quickly out of hand for with Stoughton up by seven. Yeah. All Rams is able to build their lead by attacking the basket. They're able to build their lead by getting second chance points and, and keeping Stoughton from getting to the basket on their own. They're able to force Stoughton into turnovers. They haven't been able to do that in the second half. And there they are, five points down, seven points down rather. So both teams will be coming out of the timeout. So up by seven, 49 to 42. On the court for the Black Knights, it's gonna be Gallagher, Sages, Manning, Rebello, and Teixeira. Coach Gallivan going with a sharp shooting lineup here. Any five of these players can make a tough shot from pretty much anywhere on the court. Kine with the ball, gets it to Sedato. Sedato inside to Duggan. Duggan with Sages playing some defense, shot no good, and Teixeira is gonna come up with a rebound. Aaron pass though is Teixeira looking for Rebello who wasn't quite looking for him yet, and the ball rolls off of Rebello's back, out of bounds, costs a turnover for the Black Knights as Kine will inbound it right beside the Oliver Ames bench with seven minutes and three seconds left in this game. Manning tips it, but Duggan gets it for Oliver Ames. But all back in Kine's hands, some tight defense by Manning. Kine working his way inside, gets it to Sedato, who nearly loses it. Sedato's gonna draw some contact. I don't know, I've seen on both sides, I've seen a lot more contact not called, but evidently Sedato is going to get to the line, drawing what the ref saw with some contact. Sedato has to be key for Oliver Rams. He has size for all Rams, and he's going to have to get to the basket and gets, gets that free throw there. Second free throw, no good, as Gallagher comes up with a rebound, pushes it to Sages. Stanley Sages shoots from inside the paint, and what a shot by Stanley Sages. 51 to 43, eight point lead from Stoughton. Hey, it did look pretty, but wow, that got the job done. Yeah, Duggan was underneath the paint, ready for it, falls down, looks for a call. Loose ball, a possession out, out going to Oliver Ames. Stoughton wanted the travel, they were not gonna get the call. Uh, OA takes a timeout to keep possession. Robbie, as you were saying? Yeah, Duggan was underneath the basket on the, on the previous Stoughton possession, looking for a foul. Next thing you know, Sage just stays with the shot, and puts it up and gets it in, nothing called on the floor. And then on the other side, Duggan's fighting for the ball on the ground. He looks like the only one for all of our aims that's still in it. Stoughton High cheerleaders certainly bringing it during the timeouts. That's pretty impressive for just a quick timeout performance right there. Pretty, pretty intense. 
course, Stoughton High cheerleaders do a great job supporting all Stoughton High athletic teams, especially the football and the boys' basketball team. They're at pretty much every game. Stoughton's going to return from this timeout with Manning, Gallagher, Teixeira, Sages, and Rebello. Same five they had before the timeout. Kine gets the ball into Sedato, back into Kine. Kine's going to be fouled on the way to the basket. Kine had a parted C path right to the basket. But Stoughton closed in quick as he was approaching for the shot. And he's going to draw the foul. I thought Manning had a clean block there, but of course, we're a little bit farther away than the officials are. Either way, excellent job by closing out and at least making him get to the line. Well, the last two possessions for Olive Rames has gone to the line. I, I said this before. I, I didn't see as much contact as I've seen on other call plays that weren't called. So Olive Rames gained the benefit of getting to the line. Back-to-back -back possessions, but they can't get the free throws to go. That's big when you're down by eight. Stoughton with that eight-point lead, 51 to 43, six minutes and 15 seconds left. Gallagher with the ball. Simeone with the defense, pushes it out to Rebello. Rebello working his way inside. Sages with a rebound off the miss. Teixeira with the ball now. Crowded pass and that set up Simeone for a potential fast break. Gallagher with the foul though to slow down Oliver Ames. Stone really had nowhere to go with the ball. Oliver Ames was all over that with some pressure defense. And on the other side of that, a good foul by Stone to make sure that Oliver Ames doesn't get an easy layup. Make him earn the points, especially where Oliver Ames has had the opportunity two possessions in a row to shoot some free throws, and they've only made one of them. Emmanuel Simeone is a 5'10 senior guard. Gets that one to go. It's a 51-44 game. Five minutes and 59 seconds left. Both of these teams are three and six and would love a win here tonight, to say the least. Second shot won't go. Manning with the rebound. Brings the ball across the half-court line. Manning goes coast to coast and he gets the lay-in to go. Mike Manning with another big shot. As Stoughton is up by nine. Five minutes and 45 seconds left. Manning with some defense, almost forces a steal off a of kind. Gets inside to Welsh and Welsh finishes it up. Sages back to Manning. Manning slowly bringing the ball up. Manning going coast to coast again, kisses off the glass and good. Mike Manning has come to play tonight, Robbie. Manning breaks the pressure defense, goes to the basket with just a, a player named uh, Brandon Welch waiting in underneath the basket with two guys on either side where you know Manning could make a pass or cut to the basket himself, fakes one way, goes to the basket, gets it in. Now you're looking at a nine-point Stoughton lead. Sure, there's plenty of time left, but a lot's going to have to go right for Oliver Ames down the stretch. Yeah, Oliver Ames has to show up their pressure defense. If they're going to play pressure defense, you have to make sure that all players are accounted for. On that last possession, you had Brandon Welch pointing at two open players for Stoughton. Of course, had he yelled out, hey, I need some help, maybe there's some more, more guys down low to help out defending against Manning. Let's see who comes out of this timeout for Stoughton. Stoughton had a, a sharp shooting team on the floor for the last number of minutes to start this fourth quarter. Stoughton breaks the huddle. And you're gonna have the same five. Galvin sticking with Sages, Manning, Gallagher, Rebello, and Teixeira. And why not? It's worked so far for the Black Knights. Duggan gets the inbound to Carney. Gallagher with the defense. Carney brings the ball across the half court line. Carney working his way inside, pulls up for the jumper. No good, but some contact. Still by Gallagher. Gallagher called with a foul. It's his second personal. That's big for Stoke, well, big for Oliver Ames, rather, as Stoke with 10 team fouls. That puts Oliver Ames. Shooting two the rest of the way. First shot is good. Well, I was going to say that in order for all of Rams to take advantage of being the double bonus, they have to make the free throws. Carney gets that one there. But 
Still an eight-point game. Carney's about to attempt the second one. Gets both of them. 55-48 game with five minutes and eight seconds left. Manning gets the inbounds pass from Gallagher. Holgate with defense on Mike Manning. He looks to reset his offense. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Manning for three. No good. Rebella tries for the rebound. Can't get it. They're going to say the ball went out on Stoughton last. So that's Duggan who's going to be inbounding the ball for Oliver Ames. Duggan gets it inside. Inbounds it, rather. It's going to be Carney with the ball. Carney for deep three. No good, but Oliver Ames fights for the rebound. Kine, second chance shot, no good. That's to share with a nifty move. Pass to Sages. Sage is inside. No contact called there. Looks like it's going to be white ball. Stoughton retains, retains possession. Gallagher with the ball to Rebello. Off of Gallagher. Carney with the ball. He's going to swat it for three. Carney got it. It's 55 51. It's a four point game. Big shot by Oliver Ames. Stoughton needs a score on this possession. Rebello brings the ball across the half court line. About halfway through this fourth quarter. Rebello working his way inside. Can't get the shot. Oliver Ames is going to come up with the rebound. Carney for three. Got it! It's a one-point game. Ryan Carney with six points in the last 20 seconds. And this is a ball game again. Ryan Carney has taken quick pull-up jumpers, pull-up three-pointers and three straight possessions. He's two for three. That's pretty good. But it looks like he's not going down without a fight. That's what he said for Oliver Ames. Put them on his back. He started off this game with making shot after shot after shot. He's going down that way too. So Stone wants up in this quarter by nine points. I believe it's 55-46. Oliver Ames on an eight nothing run right now. And the Tigers have this game within one with three minutes and 52 seconds left. Ryan Carney, two huge three pointers for the Tigers. Let's see what Stoughton has for an answer. Other than a delay of game, Horn. Black Knights back on the court. Wilder checks back in for Stoughton. Manning, Wilder, Sages, Teixeira, and Gallagher who will be inbounding the ball. Rebello takes a seat for the Black Knights. Wilder has the ball, gets it back to Gallagher. Gallagher brings the ball across the half court line. Gallagher working his way inside. Mike Gallagher gets a big time lay in. Mike Gallagher puts the Knights back up by three. 57 54. Carney working some contact. And again, they're in the double bonus. Every time Oliver Ames draws a foul, they're going to be shooting two. That certainly helps your cause when you're playing from behind in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Carney is playing very smart. He's taking shots when he has to, drawing contact because he knows he can get to the line. Gets that first one to fall. Ryan Carney trying to make it a one-point game again. He can't get it to fall, but jump ball. Possession's going to go to Oliver Ames. That's a big break for the Tigers. Of course, possession hour goes back to Stoughton for the next time there's a jump ball. But the Tigers will have the opportunity to tie or take the lead here. 57-55, Stoughton clinging to a two-point lead. Three minutes and 33 seconds left. Kine with the ball. Carney tries to set a pick. He gets the ball back. Sages with the defense. Carney working his way inside. He's going to draw a foul. Carney just going right back to the line. He knows if he drives to the basket, makes a move, he's going to get contact. And he has to make the free throws now. And you can't exactly leave him open outside either. So he's in a very favorable position. Gets the first one to fall. Rebello checks back in the game for Teixeira. Carney 
eight to tie the game. Swish, got it. It's 57 all, 323 left. Gallagher gets a ball into Rebello. Rebello brings the ball across the half court line. Manning with the ball now. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Carney guarding Manning. Manning driving his way inside. Contact, but no call. Duggan and Carney defending Manning there. Carney's blocked by Sages, but controls the ball, kicks out to Kine. Kine pulls up for a long range two. No good, gets the rebound. That's Holgate, shot no good. Holgate again, shot no good. Who's gonna come up with this ball? Loose ball, looks like Wilder comes down with it. Joey Wilder with a nifty pass to Mike Gallagher. Slow it down here if you're Stoughton. Control, get, looks like there's some contact. That was important for Stoughton not to really rush to the basket after you just played a possession like that where you're jumping well. rebound, after rebound after rebound after rebound. This is yet another classic Oliver and Stoughton game. Doesn't matter that these teams aren't nine and one juggernauts like they've been in years past, but it seems whenever these two teams match up, you get a heck of a game, and we certainly have one tonight. Gallagher can't get his free throw to go. Stoughton not in the double bonus yet. So it remains a tie game, 57 all. That's Carney working his way inside. Carney gives Oliver Ames the lead. And he's absolutely dominated this, for, I would say the last four minutes of play. Gallagher with the ball, down by two, gets it to Rebello. Rebello working his way inside, draws some contact. Two minutes and 10 seconds left, Oliver Ames. Once staring at a nine point Oliver deficit Bell, in this quarter. Green, They're up by two, 59-57. Interestingly, for the first two and a half quarters, maybe a little bit more than that, we saw there was a lot of contact, but not much being called. And here's all in the fourth quarter, both 18 fouls between both the teams. Hey, yeah, getting pretty much everything called. Rebella gets the first one to go. A successful free throw attempt here by Rebella will tie this game. It's up. And it's good, we're tied at 59. Two minutes and 10 seconds left. That's kind with the ball for Oliver Ames. Sedato with the ball. Sedato into Duggan. Duggan's blocked by Wilder, but he's gonna get called for, called, he. That looked like it was all ball there, but it will be a foul on Stoughton, and Duggan goes to the line. Chris Duggan shooting two. Wilder doing his best effort for the block. He certainly thought he had a clean block. Duggan to give Oliver Ames the lead. Shot no good. 59 all. Less than two minutes to play. Sages, Gallagher, Manning, Rebello, Wilder on the court for the Black Knights. Teixeira is going to check in after this free throw. And it's good and Oliver Ames is a one point lead. Teixeira coming in for Wilder. Brandon Teixeira's had some big shots in this game. Stone has shooters on the court. They're gonna need a shot here. Down by one, less than two to play. Manning dribbling the ball up the court against Carney. Manning going inside. Can't get his shot to fall. Sages grabs a rebound. Can't get his second chance shot to go. No contact. Carney looking to add to Oliver Ames' lead. Spot up Jay, no good. Rebella with the rebound. He's going to be called for traveling underneath the Oliver Ames basket. Big turnover. What I didn't understand what the previous Oliver Ames possession was, why Ryan Carney thought he needed to take a quick, quick, quick shot. They have the lead. Carney will be inbounding the ball. Carney with a shot, gets the ball back on the inbounds pass. Big shot by Ryan Carney. He has absolutely taken this game over. 62-59, a minute 23 left. Manning with the ball. Stoughton needs a score. Deshera. Hands it to Gallagher, and it looks like all of Rames are gonna come up with it and calls a timeout. That's Frank. I can't tell if they're calling a jump ball or if there's a timeout given to all of Rames. I Holgate certainly was calling a timeout. It looks like it is a timeout all of Rames. So all of Rames. With a minute nine seconds left, that's big, up by three. Stone's gonna have to come up big on the defensive side. 
Brandon Teixeira on that last possession picked up the dribble, looking to, looking to pass before he had a place to go with it. That ends up leading to the turnover, and now all the Rams are in a position where they can extend to a two-possession lead. Which this late in the game is absolutely huge. Joey Wilder is going to be checking back in for the Black Knights. We'll get you the other four players on the court joining him after this timeout. Another wild game between Stoughton Boys basketball team and the Oliver Ames Tigers, 62 to 59. Both teams blowing big leads in this game. Oliver Ames had a, a double digit first half lead, double digit lead at the half. Stoughton claws all the way back and takes a nine point lead. But Oliver Ames comes roaring back and the Tigers are up by three with one minute and nine seconds to play. Gallagher, Rebello, Sages, and Manning will join Wilder on the court for the Black Knights. Sedato's gonna inbound the ball. Holgate, Kine, Duggan, and Carney are on the court for the Tigers. Stoughton, chairing section, the, the student body is here in full force, standing as they have the whole game, hoping for a happy ending here tonight. Sedato gets it to Kine, to Duggan. Duggan back to Kine, to Carney. One minute left in this game, Oliver Ames by three. Carney inside to Sedato, and Sedato gets it to go. Big shot by the quarterback. Rebello with the ball, Stoughton down by five. Dennis Rebello looking to go to the hoop, nice move. Can't get a shot to go, Rebello with the rebound. Mike Manning for three. No good, but Rebello can't get that shot to fall. He will go to the line, however. That would have been a pretty big and one opportunity. Instead, Rebello will have to earn his points. Rebello has a big spot here, but Stone doing a good job moving the ball around, looking for opportunities. Manning took an open shot, didn't get it to go. An excellent hustle by Rebello getting the rebound. Rebello misses the first one. It's 64 to 59. Oliver Ames up by five with 38 and a half seconds left in this game. Tisdale checks back in for Wilder. Rebell gets that second one to go. It's 64 60. Carney with the ball, dribbling up the court. He's going to draw some contact, which of course will send him to the line. Carney can put Oliver Ames up by a pair of three pointers if he makes both of these free throws. Carney makes the first one. Carney makes both of them. It's a 66-60 game. Stoughton down by six points with 34 seconds left. Rebello gets the inbounds pass, brings it across the half-court line. Working his way inside. Dennis Rebello can't get a shot to fall. Stoughton's gonna have to follow. Gets the ball across to Simeon. Simeon for two, 68 to 60. Stoughton rushing the ball across the half court line with 15 seconds left. Sages gonna have to take a shot. Two pointer, long two, no good. Rebello grabs a rebound. Can't get his shot to fall. Rebello again, no good. And with five seconds left, all Brains is going to complete a comeback. It's 70 to 60 the final as all of our aims down by nine in this fourth quarter. A 19 point swing for the Tigers and Ryan Carney put his team on his back tonight and carried them to victory, Robbie. Watching Ryan Carney here in the fourth quarter was, was a pleasure. And I don't say that lightly. With his team down, he decided that he was not going to let them lose. Takes three 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 pointers in a row, makes two of them, gets his team back in it. They get on the, get on top after that, and then late in the stretch, late here in the fourth quarter, with the with a with a lead, Ryan Carney was in control. He knew exactly what to do to get to the free throw line, unfazed. He had half the student body here on their feet, yelling at him. Makes both free throws, time and time and time again. Excellent performance by Oliver Ames and Ryan Carney specifically. 
have to give Stoughton a lot of credit for digging out of what was a double-digit lead on a double-digit deficit, rather, on their end. Oliver Ames really in control of the first, I would say, two and a half quarters of this game. And then Stoughton just turned it on, went to a gear that they didn't have for the start of the game. And despite a nine-point lead, Stoughton just couldn't hold on. It's a win they really would have liked. Stoughton falling to three and seven now in the season. Oliver Ames improving to four and six. Another classic matchup. The final score of 70 to 60 in no way indicates how close and exciting this game was down the stretch. But unfortunately, Stoughton on the losing end of that battle. For Ravi Kotecha and Sean Ellerton, I'm Jeffrey Pickett. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on our Game of the Week coverage.